Hey guys, Bannon 6.7. I don't be finishing my story. Weird shit I've seen camping in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna leave off where I started. So basically, I woke up one morning, I stuck the fire, went down to get some water. That's when I started noticing some stuff on the trail I usually take. It seemed like these big footprints. Don't know how to explain it, but they had to be like you know, shoe sizes. Like I wear ten and a half. This must have been eighteen. That must have been eighteens. That's how big a foot they were. If you know what I'm saying? That's monstrous. And they were wide. I don't really know how to explain it without actually showing you the evidence. But right there, sent cold chills down my back. So I continued and went and got some water. Went back that night. I started setting up barriers, like a barricade around my camp. I started setting up these branches and logs around my camp. Just lean them on trees all around the camp. So basically they only got one way in to get to me. I set up little can traps with a string and I put a bunch of cans on it so I'd hear if they were coming or not. It was a pretty good barricade. I had a few deal run up into it. When the deal ran up into it, I knew that it was going to work if it ever came near my camp. They would have to come. It would have to come. Into one direction of the camp. And that's the front. Basically, there's one way in and one way out. Oh, there's my cat. But that night... That night, some stuff started happening. One of the barricade got smashed. Like, it basically, like, threw it towards my camp. By that time, I grabbed my gun, and I ran over the direction that it came from. And then, basically, whatever it was, it must have ran. But I caught a glimpse. It must have been nine foot tall. I just... Didn't know if I should run after it or not, considering how big it was and how strong it must have been. So after that, I kind of put the barricade back up and I stayed on watch. I had a fire blazing to light the woods up. I was sitting there, my gun loaded, with my bright spotlight, scanning the woods back and forth. And always keep an eye on what be what's behind you. And basically, this night was a little bit colder. It must have been at least 50 degrees. So it was actually, it felt good to have that fire blazing. And then it must have come back. I eventually dozed off and fell asleep. Not meaning to. I was just so freaking tired. When I woke up, every barricade was knocked down. And... What still haunts me to this day is it left a deer leg in front of my tent door, right in front of my camp. Well, as soon as I came out of my tent, I'd see it. It was ripped apart. It almost looked like it just ripped it right off the deer. And it must have been fresh because there was still blood around it. After that, I didn't even want to stay at that spot no more. I just wanted to get the heck home. That's how bad it scared me. If it can do that to a deal, what can it do to me? It can rip me to shreds. Because a deal is a lot stronger than humans. A deal can get hit by a car and still survive. It will not strong. 
that Bigfoot can rip up the shreds and never, never know what happened to you. So basically, I started packing my stuff at night. I probably shouldn't have waited that long to leave. And I still remember that it was a mistake. I still left early. But it took me a while to pack my stuff. So basically, I must have left at 11.30. Started heading down the hill towards the river that I have to cross to get to the other side to get to my vehicle. And that's when things started getting a little weird. It almost felt like something would follow me. You know the feeling you get when you're being watched or followed. Like when you stop, I'd hear a foot tra track. And I mean, I hear the leaves ruffle around. I knew something was following me. I thought to change my footsteps. I'd be like, step, step, stop. Or then step, 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 stop. And every time I did that, you could hear the one footprint before they stopped. I knew something was following me. I kept my gun handy, right on my side, unholstered, ready to shoot. I didn't know if it was going to try to attack me. Don't know why it was following me. I guess it was trying to wait for a good opportunity to get me. Basically, it had to, the advantage. I was going downhill, so it could have just jumped on my back and killed me. I wouldn't really even have a chance to shoot back. But luckily, I got to the river. And basically, I had this log that I cross. That makes it a lot easier. I'll tell you what, when I crossed it, whatever it was, let out a scream. That was so loud and so ear piercing that I had to grab my ears to tell how loud it was. Basically, I ran to my vehicle, started up, and got the heck out of there. To this day, I would never return back to that forest. From what I believe is, there was something else there than just Bigfoot. So it had to be. Because Bigfoot and we left out deep, loud screams. This was high-pissed, ear piercing. There had to be something else out there besides Bigfoot. Don't know what it could be yet. Don't want to find out, and I don't ever want to know. I would know if we turn back there again. Yep, so that was my story. Hope you all enjoyed it. It's one of my real time stories. It actually happened. I just hope you all don't think it's a fake story because it's real. I got pictures of me camping out there. Hope you all enjoyed it. Like and subscribe.